Surprise Squad strikes again. It's all about giving back, paying it forward, and making the day a little brighter for the people of Kansas City. And because it is <laughs> February 14th right now, we sent out morning anchor Joe Chiodo. We're here hitting the streets in Johnson County, and of course, on Valentine's Day, the Surprise Squad has to come out. So let's go make the day a little better for some lucky people. What do you enjoy most about Valentine's Day? Um, family. I'm spending it with him. Perfect. What's your name, buddy? Uh, Two. What do you love most about Valentine's Day? The love that it brings. What are you guys doing here today? Entertaining our granddaughter. What are you guys doing tonight? You have any big plans? Well, we're babysitting our son's kids so he can go out. So we made our celebration last night. <laughs> I cooked a dinner at our house, so we had a little candlelight dinner. Was it romantic? Was it a good dinner? Oh, yeah. Very? Yeah. <laughs> For a couple that's been married 40-some years, yeah. We aren't just with KCTV5, but the Surprise Squad as well. Oh, so just okay. to brighten your day a little bit, we wanted to oh, give goodness. you a dozen roses. Oh, you saved me some money. <laughs> there you go. What's yeah. going uh, Not much. What are you up to? You're um, on your lunch break. Yes, sir. So do you have any big Valentine's Day plans? No, sir. No Valentine's Day plans at all? No, sir. We aren't just with the new station, but we're also with the Surprise Squad. So we're just going around making people's days a little bit brighter. A dozen roses. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> oh, no problem. Oh, Joe made my day, my afternoon. <laughs> oh, Joe. Well, we're happy to do that. Here's what we ask. So every, every time we do this, we're just trying to, you know, brighten people's day and pay it forward. So we ask you to pay it forward too. Okay. So some, sometime in the future, you need to give it back. Somehow, yes, whether it's just, what is community? It's a kind of a brand new concept. We're a tea and coffee shop, but it's a little different because it's a nonprofit. So all the profits that we make will go back into community events. We'll give out free stuff at the fall festivals or when we do the Overland Park Parade. All of that will go back into the community, any profits that we have. Do you have any Valentine's Day plans? Sleeping, yes, yeah, sleeping. Maybe I'll get some chocolate and then I'll go to sleep. We uh, wanted to surprise you and make your Valentine's Day oh. an actual Valentine's Day. So we have a dozen roses for That's you. That's so nice, thank you. <laughs> no problem. We are out here doing a story about Valentine's Day, but we aren't just here with KCTV5, we're with the Surprise Squad also. So we wanted to make your Valentine's Day a little bit brighter. Want to give you guys a dozen roses just oh, to brighten your day and say happy Valentine's Day. Oh, wow, thank, thank you, you guys, so I, I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Hopefully it makes your day a little brighter. Yeah, thank you so <laughs> much. It's very Oh, thank you. Just gonna give you a hug. Aww. Can you smell them? Mmm, are they pretty? Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, hugs happy. all around? Oh. All right. We hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Can you give me a high five? There you go. <laughs> happy Valentine's to everybody. Have a good day. <laughs> And a big thank you to hy V for providing those roses. If you have a great idea for the KCTV5 Surprise Squad's next stop, or if you know someone in need who the KCTV5 Surprise Squad might be able to help or just brighten their day, head to our Facebook page and let us know.